All right, hey everybody, Herf here. Welcome to another episode of our Conan Exiles Savage Wilds playthrough. Uh, we are breaking ground on a new base area. Uh, we are right down below Maroon. <laughs> so that's the garrison right there. Um, and this is just temporary. I, you know, with the goal towards uh, eventually turning on at least low level purges. Um, I'm going to need to make better, uh, a better base. So we are attempting here to set us up a couple of improved forges, uh, one of which is going to be cooking us iron, one of which is going to be cooking us bricks. Is that coal right there? And right there? I didn't even notice that. I saw iron up in here. I thought the coal was just a shadow. But it looks like it's actually coal. So I want to try to preserve uh, those spawns, so I'm not going to go too far up in that direction. But I figure we have this gigantic area that we can just use. Uh, we have some access. Potentially, that'll give us dry wood right over there. All of those uh, dead trees. And while we don't have a ton of wood right here at all, you know, there is some up in the city, so we can, uh, we can bring our gazelle up there. Right now, I've only got... Uh, the treasure seeker with us but let's get this i don't actually have anything here to to get going but uh i just want to put i'm going to split this in half i'm going to split this in half so i took all of the bricks that we had both uh hardened and normal bricks uh with us from the old base and like I said, I just crafted us a handful of um, handful of foundations here so that we can get started. Um, what do you have on you? You probably have nothing, right? Let me give you let me give you the heavier thing of gruel. Um, so I'm going to collect iron here in this coal. What I did too, and I don't know, it's kind of a waste, but I took um, we had found this steel hardened steel pick on our trip in the last episode along with a second uh, star metal hatchet so what I did is I put the simple tool upgrades on them were still not high enough to do uh, the normal tool upgrades let alone the advanced one so um, so yeah I just bit the bullet and did the uh, the basic simple tool upgrade so anyway at least we're getting more slightly uh, for our efforts here so yeah, I'm just going to get this, uh, I'm going to get a little bit of this going. So like I said, we're going to need uh, bricks and steel reinforcements uh, along with some shaped wood. So what my goal is here today in the beginning is going to be to just, you know, expand this a little bit. For right now, I'm just putting down normal stone foundations. We will upgrade those to, um, what is it, reinforced? No, stone brick. I think it's stone brick. So these guys have like, what, 10,000 hit points or something? I'd have to look at them with a repair hammer that I don't have. And I think um, the stone brick is like 75,000. So it's a pretty significant upgrade. Uh, anything beyond that gets you, I think, 100,000 hit points on a, on a, a given uh, you know building piece. So... 25,000 extra for like, you know, then you're talking steel and black ice or steel and, uh, um, you know, hardened bricks and, you know, things that are a little harder to make. So um, I think for now we're going to stick with uh, my initial thought, which is just stone brick. And I don't know that the entire thing needs to be stone brick, but maybe, you know, the edges, the walls, any supports that we build, that kind of stuff, so that at least... Um, you know, if the purge is beaten on the walls, right, they have a harder time. They have a harder time getting in there. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, and yeah, so I'm going to just work on this a bit. Um, we haven't done anything since I signed off in the last episode. So he is still level six and a half. Um, one of you guys pointed out, and I appreciate that, that his stats actually... He's going up in agility, and I don't know, is that, is that his armor that provides agility? No, it provides health. So he's just, uh, 
maybe he started off with a good amount of agility. But yeah, he's. I think he's gone up in agility quite a bit, even despite the 60% chance. So um, anyway, he might be better served. I, you know, I kind of like the maces. You know, I've learned in the last couple of Conan series I've done that, you know, the maces, when you're attacking with those, they have good armor pen and they don't, they don't get interrupted, right? When you're doing your power attacks, you don't get staggered or interrupted when using the mace. Um, whereas I do if I'm using a sword, so... Um, so I don't know, yeah, when you guys suggested some agility weapons, so it may be advantageous, so we can at least try it out, so... Let's, uh, let's get this iron going over here. So I brought, uh, also our, our, uh, uh, Smelter 3. So Herf Gaming has an immediate opening. We are hiring for an additional Smelter. Um, so yeah, I may take a run when I'm tired of, uh, banging on rocks. Oh, is that coal is already back? Look at that. I love it. The iron takes a little while to come back, but... So beautiful. All right, I'm going to start working on a little bit more foundations. I want to get an advanced. In fact, what do we need for these things? Um, I would like to get an advanced or an improved blacksmith and an improved carpenter, at least. So I need... Now, I may go back and make the 100 iron reinforcements. What did I have left over for bricks? Well, we're making more bricks. What did we need? I'm getting distracted. What do we need for the carpenter? Uh, not companions, carpentry. Same thing. So I need more bricks and I need 50. Okay, so I'm going to make a run back there. I'm going to see if we can make 125 reinforcements. And uh, I kind of want... You know what? I'm going to leave... You know what I'm going to do too? While you guys are here and watching me. I'm doing it. I'm renaming them. I can't help it. Relic Hunter, Treasure Seeker, RHTS, whoop, oh, that wasn't what I wanted to do. All right, so I finally done it. I broke down. I renamed him Ritz. Uh, you know, RHTS, right? Relic Hunter, Treasure Seeker. Uh, he's Ritz. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to stand you like right there. So I'm going to go get um, the gazelle and I'm going to load up the gazelle with crap. And uh, we will be back here shortly. All right, so we brought a lot of stuff back. Um, I did a lot of collecting. Uh, we brought a lot of these type thingies back. Uh, we made so we made yeah about 150 uh, iron reinforcements. Uh, and we have brought back. So I, I did this thing to make the bench. You know what? I don't want to make the bench yet because I need more room. So let me have a little bit of stone and a little bit of wood. We're just going to make a few foundations here. Uh, we'll head out in this direction. Maybe we'll take this. That'll be good enough. Um, and I got, you know what? I got one more. One more. We found these radium gem. Uh, torches in the last episode we found four of them so i was like this is perfect now we have light so let's craft did i put those things back on you did i need a hundred bricks that i can do uh so i kicked off we like i said i i collected a bunch um a bunch of stone and, and wood on the way down here uh, and the gazelle was carrying it for us. God, I keep forgetting to hit this. There we go. All right, we can craft this. So I'm just going to slap these down. We'll rearrange things uh, more smartly once we get uh, a little bit more room and so on. So let's... What do I need for... This one will be... Carpentry. And I need another 100 bricks. Okay. Take that. Barely have enough. Um. Alright. Throw this guy. You know what we'll do? Let's get it oriented in the corner. And then on the gazelle, we have our station people. 
Nut Shep in Honora Steel Fingers. <laughs> okay. So, Honora, you get to go here. Uh, let's throw you there. <laughs> Nut Shep, what is that? <laughs> Literally, what is that? Um. <laughs> uh, let's throw old, old Nut Shep over here. Um. So, you know, you know what? I got a bunch of this. I'll just give these to you. We had, like, a fair amount of these created, um, anyway. So, this will let us get, um, yeah. So, if I come in here, I've unlocked some of the other building pieces. So, stone brick. Not reinforced stone, but it's stone brick. So, sandstone and flotsam have, according to the wiki, uh, is it 7,500 hit points? Or, no, 10,000. I'm sorry, it's 10,000 hit points. And Stone Brick has 75,000. So it's a significant upgrade. And then the subsequent ones, which I don't think I can unlock yet, like Black Ice uh, and such, those have like 100,000. So for the extra materials there, it's not... Um, you don't get as, as much bang for your buck, I don't think, as you do from, from 10,000 to 75,000. So... Um, they're not super cheap. Like I said, we need, you know, for every 10 bricks, what, that's 100 stone. So, for every 1,000 stone we, we, you know, we get, we can make 10 foundations. So, that's a lot of coal, that's a lot of stone, uh, and so on. So, yeah, it's going to be a while. But what I'm thinking is I'm trying to come up with, like, an actual um, design for the base. Kind of where I want things, where I want it to to end up and you know we're gonna have to expand way out into there for things like um you know the the golem constructor and uh once we learn sorcery wherever that is we'll have a bunch of sorcery stations plus all of the regular workstations there's like a trillion of them so uh yeah so we need uh, a fair amount of space and like i said i um I think I'm going to do the outer layers, maybe a couple of foundations deep of... Uh, yeah, I, 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 they're not going to run in and just start banging on a foundation in the middle, right? They're going to bang on walls, they're going to bang on foundations. So those ones on the outside, maybe the first couple of layers uh, we can make, you know, out of the, the stone brick. And then uh, inside we can have, you know, a little bit more of a design. And we can upgrade it as we go. Um, and who knows how far I'll even get on this, right? My bases usually don't even have walls. But if we're going to do a purge, we're going to need, you know, walls, doors, that kind of stuff. So um, I don't want things getting killed and all of these tier fours that we have getting killed and our animals and people. And... So, yeah, we'll have to figure out how to do that. It's been a long time since I did a purge. Uh, I did do one on the Exod lands a long time ago. It went okay. They ended up, you know, I just had this uh, sandstone foundations and walls and you know they broke a couple of small pieces I think they broke a door and maybe a handful of walls or window walls or something but it wasn't bad but I know there's been a lot of changes since then uh, and I don't want to find out firsthand how horrible it can be um, so we're gonna see what we can do to undercut that um, so yeah I'm gonna expand this out a bit um, what else did we bring what else? Oh, I brought my purple orbs. We only have ten left. And we still have a bunch. What I should probably do is get more... You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna make bricks out of this, and I'm gonna make shaped wood out of this. Put a thousand in here. We'll get you... So he does reduce the cost of the shaped wood, doesn't he? How come it's not playing? That's weird. Do I have to do it again? There it goes. Okay. more bricks going and this guy will get is this cooking okay, 
Maybe we'll split this. And we'll get him doing some iron reinforcements. Her, rather. And off we go. Alright, so we're here up in Maroon, and I have grabbed us a Stygian Smelter 3. We dragged her out and uh, tamed her up. And now what we got here is a lone fisherman. Uh, a lady. A tier 4. So I'm going to throw some orbs at her and see if we can't... Uh, can't get her knocked out. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can throw it from here, maybe. Yeah. That didn't work. Let's do it from up here. Damn it. He's not working. you guys back up here shortly all right guys so I started off with 10 purple orbs uh, that's what we had accumulated uh, what we had left over from from after capturing all of these other thralls that we have at here and at the other base um, I used one to knock out this smelter three so we have a second uh, smelter three to go along with our original smelter three um, and then we found the lone fisherman female, uh, which we did uh, throw in the Wheel of Pain up there, and um, I did knock her out, <laughs> and that took two purple orbs, so that's three. I should have seven left. But the problem is, the other seven I basically threw into that pond where the, uh, the lone fisherman sits. Um, for some reason, they were essentially landing, even though they visually looked like they were hitting the pier, um... They were, I guess, splashing in the water. So it wasn't until I had two left that I got a good shot on that uh, it looked like, you know, I'd only going to need two. So I, I said, I'm not even going to move. So I stayed completely motionless and threw the second one, and thankfully we knocked her out. But we have zero purple orbs left, so uh, Thrall Hunting is on hold for now. Uh, I could probably make some at this point, but... I don't have any alchemist stuff set up, so it would take us a while to uh, to get to that point. Uh, all right, that being said, I'm going to work on this base, and uh, we're going to try to expand a little bit. And uh, I'm trying to figure out, you know, like a design, like how do I want this? I don't want it to just look like a giant Walmart, you know? But at the same time, I don't really... Um, I don't really have any good ideas. Uh, so I may, I may go with... Uh, I may have a little bit up my sleeve but but nothing tremendous but anyway i'll start to lay out some foundations here and uh i will bring you guys back with some progress in a bit <laughs> all right so we are back in maroon again after uh some building and mining uh you can see you can see my pickaxe here we've got it uh i don't know about 80 90 percent dead um so what i've been doing in fact i'm going to take this is some uh, Relic Hunter war paint, so I figured I would I would put that on our Relic Hunter. Um, I have been collecting, and this is my third or fourth run now, where we're just grabbing anything steel that's in any of the chests here in Maroon, uh, and we're dismantling it uh, back down at the base, just uh, down below the garrison. So um, I've, in these several runs that we've done, uh, to Maroon, we have built up our, <laughs> our purple orb collection back up to 12. And this guy right here, although we don't super need him, but I just happen to notice that we've got a T4 uh, baker here, cook. 
So eventually we're going to have to build uh, a stove. So I figured we would throw him at the stove. I can put him into storage. In the meantime, so let's knock this doofus out. This should be a lot easier than trying to throw it into the pond back here. So, <laughs> so I'm going to knock him out. And uh, oh, these other guys are going to go first. Hey, let's watch. <laughs> There's one of them. <laughs> It is funny, isn't it, bud? <laughs> uh, it's not laughing, guys. Okay, we're going to knock him out, and we'll pick you guys back up uh, down at the base. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. All right, so you can see our, our base here. I've expanded it a little bit. Um, I've also run some foundations uh, kind of out there in a straight line just so I could s line things up. And if uh, I want to start building, uh, you know, really just whoop, whoop, just testing to see what I can build out here. Uh, so at least we have it lined up with, you know, the way I've laid this base out. So we've made it a couple of rows deeper, kind of wider, and like I said, we have that offshoot. So yeah, we've crafted uh, a few things here. I don't know. We've done an improved tannery. Um, I haven't done anything with it yet. We have done the... Uh, I went through the dismantling journey, and we now have the improved dismantling bench. Um, I've laid down four chests, and this is just stuff we've been accumulating... Uh, from maroon trips and let's see we got any other this one so we'll put that coin in there we got kind of a general stuff with dyes and I found another die pack just now we got some more radium gems some other dyes the black ice arrows from one of the places in there um, so I've been collecting a little bit of this treasure. We have some of this back at the at uh, back at the other base, but I'm just kind of they're labeled treasure. So, uh, but I don't know. I, they're placeable at the same time. So it's a beautiful thing, and our gazelle is full of stuff, including Brangaris the baker. Um, so I'm gonna grab all of this twice upon a couple of these things are um hardened steel but having some of that on hand is uh is not a bad idea either right so all right let's throw this crap in there steel sickle steel hatchet steel pick steel trident pickaxe punching thingies skinning knife cleaver Infected steel, great sword, steel pick. I don't. I guess this is mine. I don't want to. Uh, although you get Kari steel from it, but I don't want to dismantle that. We'll do the hardened steel cleaver, and I think this is mine, and that's mine. That is a perfected. I guess we see these often enough, so. Yeah, I think that... Is this cleaver mine? No, that cleaver's mine up there. Okay. So we can do that one as well. I guess I should probably hide this further up in my inventory. Uh, okay. So you can see, like, wh what did we end up with this? So from this one run, I got 185 steel. All right, and this is, like, my third run doing this. So, yeah, we're averaging pretty close to 200. And something has given me Eldarium. I think it's some of the bows. Uh, when we dismantle them, I'm getting um, some of the string and a little bit of Eldarium. So that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm taking this steel, the resulting steel, and we're walking like uh, Olympic speed walkers over here to the blacksmith table. I'm dumping this in here, and I'm telling him turn them into all of those so yeah we're making a ton of steel reinforcements and we have so many hardened bricks in fact we grabbed more hardened bricks from maroon about another hundred um 
So we can actually freaking make some of the even higher tier stuff, which I was finally able to unlock because we are 38. And I think I could unlock those at 38. So if I pull this up, oh, we've got stairs. And uh, yeah, so you can see I've unlocked storm glass. I, I just, I like the storm glass stuff. We don't have much in the way of black ice, so. But yeah, we can do storm glass. Um, whoop, let me get back down here. So if I do a storm glass foundation, right? What is that? So it's 15 hardened bricks, and we have like 2,000 almost. And now we're going to have. Um, what? three, four hundred, five hundred steel reinforcements, so we could actually start making some of the black ice stuff, uh, and we have a, a ton of uh, the shaped wood as well, over five hundred, so uh, is that another Kari bow? What is that? It is, alright, so I do have a backup. So if I do accidentally <laughs> dismantle my Kari bow, I have a backup. So, come here, you have what's his name? Uh, we got three of these. An old what's his name? So I have leveled the gazelle up a couple of times. We've run back and forth to the base to bring a few things back, and uh, I've been killing that rock nose that lives in the valley. Uh, so the gazelle is leveled up a couple of times, and it's got a hundred percent. I don't know if I showed this before, but without me even giving it any food, it's got a hundred percent chance in vitality, and that's. Uh, that's wonderful. I don't know if they all have that, if we just got lucky there. But, let's see. So I'll throw these in here. Okay. I'm gonna... You know what? I gotta... We got another person somewhere, because... Where'd it go? Oh, there, there it is. So we got this. I, I can't remember if I showed this or not. Um, Upshara the Summoner. So up in... Um, I can't remember what level it is now, but in Maroon, in one of the, um, one of the, what am I trying to say? One of the rooms, right? So you go, you, um, you know, go through one of the, the doors in just one of the levels there. And you run into, uh, a room with just a sorcerer in there. And the sorcerer won't attack you. There's a book in there that's just got some goofy stuff in it. Um... But it turned out that it was this uh, this tier four. Was it in this chest? Yeah. So it was this tier four sorcerer, Apshara. So yeah, I knocked her out with the truncheon because we didn't have any orbs at the time. But uh, I knocked her out with the truncheon because we are you know in that room isolated. So um, knocked her out, dragged her back. So we have. We have a couple of tier fours in reserve is uh, what I'm trying to get at. So anyway, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you find yourself enjoying what we do, if you're pulling for her, if you have some advice for me and you guys have given me some great feedback to this point, uh, and I do appreciate that. Um, as always, uh, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next one.